Oh, wait, what do you mean? No, the thing isn't working. What? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Some good stuff. I remember the first time I heard this, this was uh, pretty banging, still is. Um, I was wondering, like, what could they possibly do to make Dearly Beloved even better than it already is? And, uh, well, I guess I have my answer. I wonder if there's actually anything that if you wait on the title screen for long enough, that it gives you a, uh, like, little pre-game movie kind of thing, like it typically is in Cage. So I kind of want to sit around for a bit to see if there's anything that pops up. Uh, considering nothing has happened yet, the answer is probably no. <laughs> but I mean, that's okay. Well, I guess, uh, that was a nice little introduction, but you, you gotta warn me next time, man. I wasn't ready for simple and clean and copyright to, like, hit my ass as soon as the game started. That's not fair. Um, I think this is the same as, uh, the demo. Okay, that's, uh, that's cool. Whatever, man. Um, I, I kind of don't want to skip this <laughs> in case there's, like, some other thing going on here. I'll I'll just I'll just run this through again just in case. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the same as the demo though. It's like yeah, you press that and then you uh you know use L or one or R one yada yada. Everyone knows what this is, so I'm just gonna stop talking till we get to the end of this. Destati, destati. Well, missed. You're getting all these goods, not even like rainbow excellence. You suck at this game. I know, dude. So yeah, that tutorial was exactly the same as the demo, but you know, you never know. Hey, full chain tutorial, we're on our way. Replay tutorial? Hell yeah, man! No, let's just uh, do that. Yada yada, I understand that numbered enemies, uh-huh. And, oh hey, for more tips and go to- Oh, I don't think that was in the demo, Pog. Cool, okay. And do we have actual cutscenes now? Or are we just kind of going right in? I don't even know. Oh, okay, we're just going right into the thing. I was thinking there might be some kind of story, like, before, like, to preface all this, but, uh, sure, dude. Pick a world and a song to get started when controlling the gummy ship. Press circle to return to the main menu. Okay. Uh, so I guess, uh, we can't, uh, go over here? No? What do you mean? In the KH3 game, I could, like, dock in a world that's engulfed in darkness because of the gummy ship glitch, but, uh, guess, uh, and, uh, I, I don't know, man. I guess we'll go to Destiny Islands? I mean, I uh, sure, I guess. Oh yeah, dude, this music slaps. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, this is cool. So you actually get to play between these and there's like actual like submissions within the thing as well. 70% or higher, good or better ratings. 52, what is it? 5.2 million? I can't read numbers. Nah, sure. Let's just start off with good old Destiny Islands. My favorite. As a KH1 boy, this music uh, hits home for me. So let's see how I do on my very first thing. I don't think I got the chance to pick my difficulty setting. <laughs> I might want to check that after the fact, but I mean, that's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this is a little too slow for me, man. <laughs> All I'm saying is, based off the demo, I'm already prepared for some insanity coming my way. And that's it. Cool. That was a full chain, I believe. I hope so. <laughs> okay, good. Because if I, I that that seems like it was on easy mode, and if I screwed that up, that would have been pretty stupid. So, not too bad. Three goods. Pfft. Wow, dude, you suck so much. Hey, exp though, not so bad. <laughs> Got all those uh, bonuses and stuff. Not bad. What does that say? Number two soldier, KH items obtained. I don't know what that means, but cool. <laughs> Um, Obtain Destiny Islands, a new field battle song is now available. Oh, cool. So you actually unlock other stuff, like, from the war- like, the, uh, story mode, so to speak, I guess. That's kinda neat. Three potions item obtained for collecting 100 rhythm points. Cool. <laughs> Achieve first full chain, and we got achievements, and we got trophies! I'm popping off! Yes, let's go! Track selection unlocked. Choose track selection from the main menu to play any song you like. Cool, dude. Team menu unlocked to press the thing to do the thing. Oh, I like doing things. Return to world tour? Sure. So does that mean I kind of go back to, like, uh, the world map now? Okay. And then I have... What is this? Song has three missions. Complete these missions to collect stars, which you need to open gates. I don't know what stars mean. Like, what's the term for that? <laughs> Let's just say stars. Open blue gates, collecting matching colored... St Wait, what? To open blue gates, collect the matching colored stars. Gates that require gold stars can be unlocked with stars of any color. To open red gates, you'll need to clear certain worlds or unlock certain gates. Okay, so. 
simple enough. So if I wanted to, I could like uh, back out. And okay, there we go. And now the tracks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. So that's cool. And then I can go here. And now Destiny Islands is gonna be like the only song that's available currently. Okay. Oh wait, I actually go back. Free to play any songs you like. Team menu, swap teams with the pause button. Learn about excellent today's tune, excellent bar today's tunes and help and config menu. I don't need that stuff, man. Come on now. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna check it really quick because I never looked at this <laughs> in the demo. So maybe it actually uh, has some. Oh, today's tunes isn't here. What are you talking about, man? Copyright info. Uh oh. Uh, bullshit, 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 bullshit. Okay, thank you. I read that. You can synthesize items. What in the world? <laughs> Even Melody of Memory has synthesis? What do you mean? You can synthesize new items and songs using materials obtained. Moogle learns EXP and gains levels as you synth items. As, it le as its level increases, you will unlock new recipes and gain bonuses. After choosing an item to synthesize, select material, press triangle to see how to obtain that material. You can jump directly to music stages from there. Oh, okay. Well, that's worked out pretty nicely. Um, I need six and I have eight, so I can craft one of these, perhaps. I probably didn't even need to do that because <laughs> I already have four of them, but I mean, sure. Oh, what is this stuff, dude? Unlock Sora Memory Dive? Oh, man. Wow, do I actually have to do all this to, like, progress in World Tour and stuff? Man, there is so much stuff here already. What the heck? Is it wise to be crafting items immediately right now? Probably not. I should probably do a few things yet. Uh, let's, uh... Oh, I can't even play as the other teams yet. That's fine. Let's just, just go for it, man. Let's see. We got Traverse Town. We got Wonderland, Agrabah. A lot of KH1 stuff. Monstro, Neverland, Olympus. Hollow Bastion, End of the World. Ooh, that's cool. Hmm, there's a nobody symbol there. It looks a little spooky. Kind of looks like the Ansem 2 fight from there. Or maybe it's some weird 2.8 thing. Castle Oblivion. More Castle Oblivion. I think? Is that more Castle Living? Yeah, that's that's like Marluxia or something. Okay. Twilight Town, and now we're going into the KH2 area. This is cool. This is what? Uh, World That Never Was? Twilight Town? Some other stuff. <laughs> Maybe if I play the game, I'll actually find out. Also, there is so much stuff here. My goodness. How far does this go on, dude? Oh my god. Look how expansive it is! Oh, oh my god, this is huge! <laughs> I know, and that is uh, Final World. Oh, damn, dude. Wow, uh, we got ourselves a lot of work to do, man. We got KH3 Worlds here. We got, like, probably, like, 3D Worlds and BBS Worlds and other stuff. There's, like, Neverland from BBS. Here's Enchanted Dominion. Here's uh, Disney Town. Wow. Uh, Dwarf Woodlands. Castle of Dreams. Yeah. Wow, dude. Deep Space I saw on the, le on the left there. And now here are the 3D worlds. Here's, like, Grid, City de la Loches. Lo lo <laughs> I don't speak French. I don't even. City de la lo, lo, loches. I don't even. Uh, Prankster's Paradise, uh, Three Musketeers World, World That Never Was from 3D, Ventus like nightmare thing. I, I don't know. Well, that's pretty cool. Got ourselves a uh, lot of stuff up ahead, so I'm I'm looking forward to this. So uh, let's go all the way back. Oh, you can dash with square too. Oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> Let's go all the way the heck back over here. My goodness, there is a there is a lot to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, screw it, man. I suppose we will do busting up the beach now. Can change the difficulty and set items to use before starting a song. Oh, cool. L1, R1, set difficulty, beginner's easiest, practice hardest, yeah. X set potions to other party, or other items to be used automatically as you play. I don't know, man. I feel like I can handle myself without having to use items, but I mean, what do I know? We're gonna do some, uh, proud. Because, you know, I, I probably just did, like, beginner mode on that last song. I'm sure we can do ourselves some proud mode on this. I'm confident, man. Come on, let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, baby, this is my jam. Let's go. Dude, this is awesome. I love this. This ain't so bad. I'm gonna have so much fun with this game. Holy moly. <laughs> it's like just barely started, but uh, this is already pretty lit. I like it. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> I like that. That's just gonna be my thoughts on this game. It's, it's very cool and fun and cool and fun and cool and fun. Ah, shit. 
<laughs> no! Ah, oh, I'm sucking ass. Because I'm getting too cocky. That's okay. Well, I'm not so hot. I think that's the end of it now, right? Probably. <laughs> uh, but it's like, I always, I want to have, I want to chip in on stuff, dude. Like, it's, it's so cool. <laughs> Even though a lot of songs probably require an insane amount of focus. It's just, I, I have already a lot to say and the game's barely started yet. That's okay, still got an A+. Plus. Neato. Gained a lot of levels really fast, busting up the beach. Neato. 97, 97 is fewer, 30 times or fewer. Dude, easy. Nothing to worry about. Ooh, story scene. Collector's card for collecting 200 rhythm points. Neato. Six blazing shards, materials for collecting 300 rhythm points. Uh, heck yes. And are there any other songs? Oh. By a mysterious voice. Sora stepped through the door that marked the start of his journey. Sora, Riku, and I wanted to see the world beyond our island. One day, Sora came face to face with a man from another world. Meanwhile, Donald and Goofy received a letter from Mickey asking them to find the holder of a certain key. Aw, oh, come on, man. We're just gonna get little blips and pieces like that. I mean, that's fine. So, yeah. <laughs> Adjusting camera on the fly so I can actually read the cutscenes on this. Kyrie 1 Memory Dive MS Material. Material obtained for clearing all songs in this world. And that means I can... Oh, it unlocks automatically. Dude, nice. Ooh, Night of Fates. I think that's what's coming up next. Ooh, baby. Night of Fate is so good. Cleared all songs in the world for the first time? Heck yes. Let's go. So, uh, there, this little thing right here still needs, uh, needs some work. I can't- what is that? What, make that out. What is that? Is that like, um... I, I actually can't tell. Is that Destiny Islands? Or is it like in, in the afternoon? Or is it like at sunset? Like, what is that? I can't actually tell right now. I'll find out later. It's okay. Um, let's see. Melody of Destruction. Melody of Fate. Okay. So, like, the actual cool stuff, like, that's, like, events in the game is actually called, uh, like, specific things, not just worlds. So, Melody of Fate. Yes! Oh my god, I love this music so much. Alright, let's get in there. We're doing proud mode. Easy. Nothing to worry about. Dude, there is so much to this game already. My goodness. <laughs> I am gonna no life the hell out of this game the next couple of days. Holy heck. Ooh, a little speedy there. It's almost like this music is a little fast paced or something. Crazy. Oh my god. Nice. Good stuff. I think that was a full chain. Not too bad, man. That was a little tricky when it had like that- Oh! Chest! I want the chest! What is that chest? Give me that chest. Oh, baby! Ooh! Eyes emoji. What is going on here? <laughs> oh, they're gonna tell me after this, but dude, that was sick. I, I popped off. I got a full chain on uh, Night of Fate. Not too shabby. <laughs> I still gotta go back and, and full chain uh, busting up on the beach. Do 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 do. <laughs> like Spongebob. Nice though, that was that was good. Made me very happy. Oh my god, you actually uh was was there exactly 35 shadows in that fight? I I, I don't even know, I maybe I read that wrong. Summoning star I'm for collecting 400 rhythm points, cool. And uh let's go see what uh the other place is about. There's only one song there though, so that's pretty much cleared out. Cool. And I can go right to Traverse Town if I want, but I mean, who actually wants to do that crappy world? I want to see what this thing is all about. I'm sure Traverse Town has some fantastic music, it's okay. Destiny's Forest? Ah, yes. When we, uh, fight Darkseid? 
Let's see how this goes. Miss 30 times or fewer, 30% HP or more without items. 5.95... No, wait. 5,950,000 uh, points. Okay. I, don't, I shouldn't even care about the missions, dude. I'm just trying to get to the... Like, just get my way through this. It's fine. <laughs> I'm excited, man. It's like I'm fine. That's like I'm doing a level one run right now. Dude, the beats though. Ah, oh, heck, I missed one. Not a good start if I'm missing this early. Oh, this is a little weird. A little, a little sloppy right now. Wow, what is this rhythm? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Not gonna lie. Oh! Holy moly, dude. There's a lot of shadows in a row. <laughs> I'm like mashing that shit. Even though that's totally like not what you're supposed to do, that's what it feels like. Is that it? No. I think that's it. Oh god, that was rough. That's that's definitely my worst performing song so far. We missed a lot of notes there. At least I got through it though. I mean eventually I'm gonna fail some of these because I, I know they're gonna be really tough, but. Nah. Honestly, not as bad as I thought, but damn, dude. Still got all the points and uh, all the mission stuff completed, so, you know, nothing to worry about, man. Your boy got this stuff under control. One fateful night, darkness consumed Destiny Islands. As Riku disappeared into the darkness, my heart managed to escape to safety inside Sora. The darkness overwhelmed Sora, and he awoke in an unfamiliar town. <laughs> Neato. Okay, so that's just gonna be like little tiny blips here and there. Like, you know, recapping the whole series. That's actually quite nice, in a way. So like, this is effectively gonna retell the whole like, you know, first uh, arc of the story as far as like, um... Like the Dark Seeker saga going into what is now like the Foreteller or the Union Cross esque saga. So that's actually pretty neat. So, not only do you get some slamming music, you get a uh, a synopsis of the actual story of the game so far and the game series. So that's kind of lit. A as much as that might mean to some people, I understand. <laughs> that might not mean anything, but it's okay. Oh, baby, it's the, one of the songs from the demo, Hand in Hand. But uh, we're going to do this one first. I'm liking this so far, man. It's pretty lit. I might try to go through all of the uh, KH1 worlds and then take a little bit of a break, but man, this has been uh, pretty dope. Because, I mean, it is midnight when I'm playing this. So I don't want to stay up too late. I know this song, like, religiously, because I hear it in KH1, every, like, almost every single day. That was free. <laughs> of course it's free, I'm not doing performer mode, where you actually have to, like, be really, really good. Hey, a chest. Give me that. Is there another blip? No, okay. <laughs> I don't know when they're gonna spring the whole, like, oh man, cutscene, let's get in there. Another story scene, that's cool. More lightning shards. I, I, I still have no idea what to make of the whole uh, <laughs> synthesized stuff. I'm just playing songs, doing stuff, and I'll look into that like at a later time, I guess. I, I have no idea. Now this one is from the demo, so I should be okay at this one. <laughs> I'm actually curious to see if it's really that much different from uh, how the demo is. I imagine it's basically the exact same thing. I'll have a pretty good idea in a minute here though. 
Actually, I don't even really remember that much offhand. I'd be surprised if this was, like, actually different in any significant way, though. This seems to be pretty much the same, so I'm just going to assume it is. Which is fine, because that would be kind of crazy if, uh... <laughs> they actually kind of redid some of the songs from the demo. Like, can you imagine if they make Wave of Darkness harder? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that in advance, because maybe they did, but I'd, I'd hate to imagine them making that song any more difficult than it already is <laughs> prior to, uh, release. Yeah, I think this song is basically the same, so I'm going to assume all the other songs are the same. If, if I actually sat down and, like, focused and I wasn't talking and stuff, I probably could have full chain these without much issue, but... I'm just happy I'm doing as well as I am while I'm, I, I'm actually commentating and doing this, so I mean, that's okay. Is there another little thing here now? I'm just gonna preemptively put my camera over here. Because <laughs> I think they're about to drop a, uh, what's it called? They're about to drop us a uh, little cutscene. EXP boost, item obtained for clean. Ooh, I kind of want that. So let me guess, is there a cutscene here now? No, actually. Okay, well, oh, okay. Uh, I have to do the next thing first. There we go. <laughs> you know, before we do that, let me see the uh, team menu real, real quick here. Let's see. What We got EXP boost set to double the amount of EXP earned. That actually sounds quite nice. Not gonna lie. Is there anything else I can make in this menu that might be warranted? Uh, characters? What is this? Profi ca profile card icons? Profit card? Uh, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what these do right now, <laughs> aside from just like make like something out of everything. But uh, what is this? Collector card. So is this just like, oh hey, you get like these cool little uh, collector cards of stuff and thing and stuff and thing. That's neato. <laughs> Eh, that's fine. I'm not really gonna fuss around too much with that. So I assume since it's like a consumable, you can put that on for like a stage. Like the EXP boost for a stage where you can get like a crap ton of points and a lot of EXP as a, as a result of that. And level up a little bit faster on the back of doing other things, but I'm not really sure the whole context of that. Shrouding Dark Cloud, so this is like when we fight uh, Guard Armor. So I could go down here and double the amount of EXP and set that, or something like that. I probably, yeah, like, see, that's highlighted, so now it's going to be used, okay. Summons King Mickey to a field battle to help with healing, rhythm point bonuses, and more. I kind of don't want to use these, though. Like, I guess I'll use, eh, nah. <laughs> I, I'd rather just do all of this legit and then find out in, in like, later on the full effectiveness of items, but I, that kind of feels like cheating to me. <laughs> I'd only want to use those if I'm really having a hard time on a song and it hasn't gone to that point yet, so... Might be in my interest to use the EXP item, though, just to level up characters a little bit more, but... That seems more like a thing to just do for the sake of, like, 100% completion, which I'm gonna do that on my own time anyway, so... Oh my god. <laughs> Those enemies were coming in so fast, dude, I was actually a little worried there. I went too quick with my input there. I think this will be the first one I fail all the missions on, because I think one of them said, uh... My goodness, what is that ending? <laughs> uh, they said uh, they want all uh, multi-enemy things to be defeated, and I definitely did not uh, beat them all, so that was kind of rough. I think I, could be, I did like two out of the three missions, or parts of that mission. See, I only got an A. That's so bad. Yeah, I didn't get all the multi-attack enemies. Feels bad. I suck. <laughs> That's okay. And now cutscene, I take it. Oh man, he meets Having up with Donald and Goofy. By the Keyblade, Sora teamed up with Donald and Goofy. The trio traveled together through many worlds, locking the world's keyholes in order to keep them safe from the encroaching darkness. Meanwhile, Riku awoke in the dark depths. Also known as Hollow Bastion. 
If they want to phrase it as that, that's fine too, I guess. Hey, guard armor card, nice. And then that opens up because we beat the thing. Neato. Oh, what do we got here? Wonderland or, or Agraba? Halloween Town and Finny Fun. Actually, no. Hold that thought really quick. So all of these unlock, and then I can do the next ring after this. But <laughs> and some of those guest characters may join your team. Oh yes, we're gonna see Aladdin and Jack and Ariel and stuff. Maybe not Ariel. Friend orbs appear when you have a guest in your team. Hit these orbs for a rhythm point bonus. Oh sweet. Guest characters leave after the end of a song, but they will reappear if you keep playing the same song. Okay, that's cool. Where is uh, where is Finny Fun? I know you're over here somewhere. The dreaded Finny Fun worlds. What is that? Is that that's. Neverland? What do you mean, Neverland? Neverland's not in Cage 2. What the heck? Is that not Neverland, or am I crazy? <laughs> Maybe it's something else. Um, Finny Fun. Oh, come on, game. You know you want to do this. Don't, 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 don't bait me. No, it, it's somewhere. I mean, maybe you're actually, like, taking the piss, but, I mean, I, I don't believe you. Whatever you say, man. I didn't- I didn't see- I don't see, uh, Finny Fun in the meantime out of this, this, like, little part. Like, there's World That Never Was and then all this other stuff. Maybe- maybe we won't actually have all those songs to do, like, in Cage 2. That would actually make me so happy, but, uh, probably not. <laughs> uh, we shall see. Uh, over here. There we go. Let's try Agrabah. Yes, Aladdin, help me out in our time of need. Because Wonderland is one of the demo songs, as I'm sure everyone who's played the demo is like 100% familiar with. <laughs> dun, da, da, da. Interesting uh, visuals for this one, I'm noticing in the background. I mean, pretty much all of them have interesting visuals, but I'm really liking Agrabah so far for that. Because, you know, as the smart person I am, I'm focusing on the background instead of, like, the actual, like, rhythm-based uh, visual cues I'm supposed to be focused on for this. So, I mean... <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna, like, land, I'm gonna fall in the pit. Uh-oh. No, don't do it. <laughs> no, that's okay. Oh, dude, what? What? A little secret place beyond the uh, depths of Agraba Caverns, Ca Cave of Wonders Cavern. What is this? Oh, this is like carpet escape type stuff or something. The song ain't so. Ain't so bad. I know they have like a little number next to their songs. Oh, hold up. Okay. <laughs> they have a little number next to their songs to indicate like how difficult a song strictly is. Oh, what the heck was that? Am I crazy or was that like not on peace with the rhythm, because that kind of screwed me up a bit. That's That sucks. I was right at the end and I dropped it. Oh well. Maybe that was just the case of me uh, talking too much and I'm not focusing in on the actual beat of the song. <laughs> I think I cleared all that. Yeah, that's good. I'll, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so mad I missed all of the... Uh, oh, simple and clean. When you walk away... Let's not do that. <laughs> Wait, what? New field song is now available in track section. Okay, I guess uh, more simple and clean stuff. <laughs> I can't believe they sprung that up on me. It's the first friggin' thing in the in the set of uh, music. Just like, when you walk away, here's the opening to KH1. I'm like, nah, dude, my video, <laughs> my audio, why would you do this to me? It's like, you can't spring, you cannot spring stuff on a player like that in current times, man. Let's see. Ar Arabian Dream? Uh, go for it. Yeah, I, you notice I purposely avoided Wonderland because, I mean, I, I already know, like, one of the main songs there, so. Oh, hey, we have Donald instead of Goofy this time. Isn't that neat? Do, 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 do. This, this song slaps.
I like it, man. <laughs> I, I like this one a lot better than um, the day in Agrabah. I cannot like see anything, dude. <laughs> where are the where are the notes? I, I like the camera angle made it them like literally impossible to see. I can't believe I hit them all. Nice. Ah, oh, dude, no, I, I I screwed up and hesitated like once during that. That was so bad. Actual choke, I dude, I choke runs, I choke my FCs. Ah, oh, man. What do you mean I didn't hit one of those notes? Bullshit. <laughs> Come on, man. I disagree. I'm tilted. I'm, I'm I'm like tilted into the stratosphere right now, man. I missed like two or three notes the whole song. I'm I'm mad. I suck so much ass at this game already. <laughs> Despicable Kingdom Hearts fan, I am missing three notes. Awful. Unbelievable. Hit all 99% I shouldn't have missed that one, dude. I called that is that is shenanigans. I, I I disagree respectfully, but fine, whatever you say, game. Versus battles. Ooh, choose versus battles from the main menu to compete against various opponents. Hmm. Maybe at a later time. We'll see. <laughs> I kind of want to get through all the KH1 songs and then break for a bit and then see what other stuff is about. So, A whole new world. Uh, I don't think I can play that, so that's neat. <laughs> uh, because copyright and stuff. I mean, I don't know if it's, like an actu if it's the actual song or if it's like some kind of like instrumental rendition, but I'm, I'm a little spooked, man. Okay, let's try, uh, let's try you out. This is again, once again, one of those songs from the demo. So there's two demo songs already played. We won't be able to see the other ones for quite a while though, because two of them are KH1 related, the other is BBS, and the other one is uh, 0 0.2 or 2.8, I guess. As far as I can tell, the songs seem identical to their demo version, which I mean I expected, but you never know. Yeah, I can't tell if it's because I, I practice, it's one of those songs I practice quite a bit. To be fair, I think I, did I screw up hand in hand? In Traverse Town, I actually don't even remember. <laughs> but it might be because of how much I did them in the demo, and that's not really so bad to do all those. Like, getting full chains on the songs. A aside from Wave of Darkness, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Like, uh, that one song in Enchanted Dominion is probably not going to be that hard either, because I know what to expect. Item boost? I don't need you no know, stinking item boost. That's uh, Item boost is for cowards. Or, or items in general is for cowards, man. We, we don't play with items around here. We're doing all pro codes, melody of memory, you know, all that good stuff. Come on now. Okay, so this one is the uh, battle variation of Wonderland's World, so this one was not in the demo. We'll see how this one is. I should probably be, probably be keeping tabs on the difficulty rating of these, as, like, like the number-wise. Oof. PS2 songs intensify. You can tell this one is definitely uh, the original. Ah, oh, heck. No, my notes! Ah, I screwed up so bad. <laughs> no, damn it. Oh my god, why am I choking so many songs at the end, dude? I'm getting mad. <laughs> and then you get mad, and then you start mashing stuff faster, you press buttons faster. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> I probably still got an okay score for that and everything, but dude, uh, left a bad taste in my mouth. This is Halloween. Oh man. Copyright intensifies once again. <laughs> Hopefully not, but I guess we'll see.
To be fair, do I care about copyright if I'm playing a freaking music game of Kingdom Hearts? Probably not. Cool. What? Ass. <laughs> what do you mean? What did I even miss at the very end, huh? You, you, this game cheats. <laughs> I, I nailed that stuff, and I, I maybe I got too cocky at the very end, but are you serious? What do you mean, one miss? Look at it! It says one miss, that's bullshit. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, man? Oh, that's so silly. Whatever, man. Uh, so that song was pretty dope, though, but I, I think this game, like, like, bamboozled me at, like, the very last moment. And this is the, uh, battle theme. Nice! Hey, I didn't choke at the very end this time. Good stuff. Blind Red Full Chain. Actual god of gaming. Yeah, Ariel actually is here. I was wondering how they would make that work, because she doesn't have legs. I keep seeing the uh, world-specific party member thing. And I keep trying to think, oh hey, that's like not a normal thing, so I press triangle. For some reason my brain works in a really stupid way, don't ask. <laughs> that's why I screwed up my uh, chain there a little bit ago. Oh, I see the dolphin! The dolphin we used to clip out of bounds in KH1 in the speedrun. Oh my god, what's up, dude? <laughs> uh, nice to see ya. Three misses. <laughs> Trash. Too bad I dropped it there. Not bad though. That that section's a little tricky. Oh, is that the very end too? Oh god. A little bit of uh <laughs> It's hard for me not to like smirk a little bit and see so many barrels while we're we have Hercules as a party member here. <laughs> Hey, Barry, he Herc, look, it's your favorite, a barrel. I'm gonna throw this on you and you're gonna lose, like, your godly powers somehow, because that's how gods lose their, like, mighty, uh, attack force, I guess. Well, that was a pretty easy song, compared to most other things. I mean, it's a very slow-paced song, and I'm sure if I did performance mode, I wouldn't be saying the same thing. <laughs> but not too bad. Now, the battle music for for OC might be, uh, might be pretty tricky, but we'll see how that goes. Hey, look, it's, uh, story scene number 82, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Cross in brackets. Okay, collector's card for collecting 2400 rhythm points. Seven lucid shards, and return to Tour World. World Tour? Tour World? <laughs> Tour World War? World tour? <laughs> I, I, well, words, I don't know. Yeah, this one might be a little bit trickier because it's kind of fast, but uh, typically it seems the slower paced music is relatively easy to FC, so. Which I mean, makes sense logically, so. This one might be tricky. That threw me off to see the triangle thing there, dude. I was like, oh shit, I gotta get out of my glide. I don't think it actually technically matters, but I, I don't know, I wanted to land ASAP <laughs> as soon as I saw that. I can't believe I hit that, what the, what the heck. And then I, I failed that one? Are you serious? What is wrong with me? How did I hit like that that nonsense of notes and then I failed the easy part? Are you serious? Why am I like it's just like speedrunning, dude? The easy stuff is like actually impossible. <laughs> the hard stuff, no problem. Easy stuff, no way. That's like way too much. Unbelievable. Now I'm mad.
<laughs> I, I I totally I'm just like <laughs> I'm I'm like my friggin' uh on like X button just like over and over again. I'm actually using circle because I'm weird and I like that more than X. I I literally just like spamming the attack button to like hit all those really fast ones. <laughs> it's not a good practice. I don't recommend that, but I mean it worked, so that's fine. Oh my god, how did I screw up that easy part so badly though? <laughs> So that seems to be a pretty common practice for these. The battle themes are much harder to, like, not drop your combo on. Generally speaking. But, like, the actual overworld themes are, like, relatively easy, even on Prime Mode. They're not that bad. I'm not going to say they're free, because, I mean, I've only FC'd a couple of them, but... Battle music seems to be much trickier to keep up with, because it's much more fast-paced and a lot of beats in there, so... Like, I'm trying to analyze this game like a speedrunner. Because, <laughs> you know, the speed runs of this game are going to be phenomenal, I can already tell. Not to discredit people who want to actually do speedruns of this, but I mean, come on now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that, man. Well, so far, not too bad, but I'm sure it's gonna get really wacky in a little bit. But the opening to the battle theme hasn't been so bad. This has been easier than the other theme so far. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. That's fine. Damn it, oh my god, I broke it at the very end, that sucks. The song's good though. Like, a lot of them have been pretty fun. I don't think there's been one I disliked. But this one in particular seems pretty fun. It doesn't seem too long of a song either, so. Not too bad. That was, I, I think that was one of the more enjoyable ones. When it really picked up there, that was pretty sick. <laughs> it's almost as sick as me after missing all those notes. Ugh, gross. That's okay. I don't know, man. So, like, I, I feel like it's been pretty cool, but the rhythm on some of these feel very slightly off to me. Maybe that's just me, like, not actually using headphones. I'm listening to my TV and I'm talking like an idiot and not actually fully focusing and stuff. That was the only friggin' thing I missed, too. I was so close to a full clear on that. It's okay. I have noticed a couple songs seem a little bit off, but for the most part, it's fine. Which, I mean, is, I suppose, like, you're not gonna have a 100% perfect, like, screen graph of, like, everything and stuff, but... Then again, like I said, maybe I'm just crazy, but it seems like there's a couple songs a little bit off at times, like... Ending to that last song in Neverland didn't quite fit well to me anyway. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm gonna love me some Hollow Bastion. Let's get in there. So, yeah, it's this... And then end of the world, and then like that one other thing, and then the Seeker of Darkness, like, boss fight stage, maybe, for Ansem? Because I know there's boss fights, based off the trailer and stuff.
What? How? Dude, I'm mad. <laughs> Obviously, controller's fault, not mine. Oh my god, I'm fucking up. Stop. <laughs> You know, one thing I remembered, people said maybe you could turn like the actual sound effects volume down so you can hear the song more, and that might actually be a bit of an issue I may have been having in a couple of these. It's like right there, I couldn't hear the song so much because of how much it was blasting. Uh, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Screwing up this song really bad. Yeah, this has been my worst performing song so far, definitely. <laughs> but we cleared it, that's what matters, but ouch. <laughs> that makes me a little sad because I was looking forward to doing this and I botched it pretty good. Still haven't lost a song, still haven't used any items, we're in there, it's okay. <laughs> 18 misses, ouch, that's, uh, that's not so good. Haven't gotten any uh, cutscenes in a little while, so uh, perhaps we'll get one after we uh, do Seeker of Darkness World, which is, uh, like I said, probably the Ansem boss fight. That was satisfying. So bad too when you like lose your sense of, sense of rhythm and you're trying to like panic and get it back. <laughs> that happened to me so much during that last song. I hit I hit a uh, attack too early there, so rip. Not my best, uh, not my best songs there. Uh, especially that first one, that was so gnarly. Like, this one at least I performed a little bit better, but, uh, we're starting to kind of suck a little bit. <laughs> e. Uh, it makes me a little bit fearful for the next few songs coming up, because those I had a pretty hard time with. Yeah, 25 items, gross. That, I, I barely got that. Master of Masters! We'll find out who you are in this game, maybe. Possibly. <laughs> And, uh, I, I don't know, I, I've heard, like, a couple really vague things about, uh, like, the whole ending to this as well. I cannot wait to see what that's about. <laughs> hey, look, it's KH1 Kyrie. Nice. Back when she was, like, a relevant character in this series. Damn, isn't that too bad? Uh, Wicked Melody, or should we do this? How many songs here? Uh, I think we'll do this one. Squirming Evil. 165 ground enemies. Oh, dear. <laughs> Okay, well, it's a rank 12, so maybe this won't be so bad, but, uh, I am a little bit nervous. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Spooky song. Yeah. 
too early there. Dude, that goes from like really fast to like slowed down a bit in the rhythm. That kind of screwed me up a bit. Have to remember that. That's better. Oh my goodness. Huh. Free. <laughs> Not so free. Honestly, that song was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it did say 12. And I know it's like a frame of reference, I think. Like, Wave of Darkness is like a 15. I don't know if that's like the max level or not. But if Wave of Darkness is meant to be like anything to go off of as far as like really difficult songs, which I mean, clearly it is. It's the hardest thing. That even like, including the demo, it's easily the hardest song I've played so far. <laughs> so I guess I shouldn't be too concerned until I see something. Oh. Clouded by darkness. Riku stood in Sora's way. As they fought, Sora realized that his power came from his friends, not his weapon. When Sora found out that my heart had been inside him all along, <laughs> he saved me without sparing a thought for what might happen to him. Now it was my time to save him, as I wished for that strength. Something incredible happened. Hoping that we would never be separated again, I gave Sora my lucky charm. Hey. That was cool. God, I love KH1 stories so much. Very, uh, very touching. And honestly, probably the best self-contained story out of the KH games. I am a... Don't hate me. Just my opinion. <laughs> and, uh, oh boy. End of the world. I'm getting excited because I see uh, Mr. Uh, Ansem's Secret of Darkness over there coming up in a bit, so. Let us uh, do these last few songs. Oh my god, I love the environment for this already. Really makes you re uh, realize how like haunting some of the music in this game actually is. I don't even have time to really think about that when I'm doing speedruns of KH1, but End of the World's music is actually quite uh creepy. I mean, in a good way, it's creepy. Like, it really does give, like, that sort of foreboding nature as to what you were about to encounter when you go into this world, because, uh... Final Rest ain't so kind to, to new players. Hey, look, it's the Ark. I think they put in KH1 that they just kind of decide to actually make something out of like 15 years later, isn't that cool? Ah <laughs> uh, yes, good old Final Rest, my best friend.
Okay, good. I was gonna say, I, I, I better not choke this song at the very end like I have most of the other things, so... It's fine. That's why I wasn't saying much to the end, because I was like, oh wow, I can actually FC this if I'm not stupid, and we pull that off, so, pretty cool. Twelve goods, miss. Thought you were a, thought you were a cage player that meant business, man. Just a triple A plus, not even all of rainbow excellence, wow. What? Didn't I, didn't I already get that? Or am I confusing that with something else? I don't even know. <laughs> Uh, let's try the other song. I, like, honestly, I, I want to just do that, uh, Ansem Seeker of Darkness thing like, right now, but I mean, if I've done literally all the songs up to this point, I may as well, so let's just, just get on in there, dude. Screw it. Ah, yes. Fragments of Sorrow, this song is also pretty banging. I mean, to be fair, the whole sound, the whole OST of Cage is pretty banging across the board, so that's fine. But man, I'm, it'll be my first time ever doing a uh, boss. <laughs> and I wonder how those handle comparatively to the rest of these stages here. Destati! I can't believe I didn't drop that. I was panicking a bit there for a minute. Double FC, nice. Well, end of the world stuff is out of the way for proud mode, that's cool. See, I got I was thrown off my game a little bit on Hollow Bastion, but we back. to back-to-back -back FCs. Last world of KH1, right before the world boss or, or game boss, whatever boss stage. I didn't complete the missions and I FC'd the song. <laughs> Okay, that makes me a little more nervous, because I kind of screwed up a bit there. Well, never mind, that is uh, that is the definition of a hollow victory, if I have ever seen one in my life, so good start. Now, Mr. Ansem. Team days? Oh, we get to use team days after this, Pog! Okay, let's get in here. Yes! Oh, my one of my favorite songs in the whole series, the final boss music. Final boss music to KH1, let's get in there. Oh, I am so excited. This is a boss battle music stage. Ooh, let's get in there. Go over how boss battles work. Yes, sir. In boss battle music stages, you face off against boss characters in a rhythmic battle. Hit targets are X, L1, R1. Slide targets, tilt the stick. Hold targets, hold X, L1, or R1. And for ability crystals, press triangle. Okay. Targets with a line connecting them need to be hit at the same time. Hit targets and hold targets. Press as many of X, L, and R1 as there are targets. Okay, so if there's like two, you like do like that. If there's all three, you press that with the plus the face button. Slide targets. Tilt both both the left and right sticks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this might be where we fail our first song. Consecutive hold targets. Sometimes a hold target will begin right when another one ends. Change which button you press to transition between targets. For example, if you press X for the first one, use L1 or R1 as you release X from the first one. Okay. I, I'm probably going to screw this up, and it's going to be a case of just, like, do it enough times to get the hang of it. So we're probably going to get screwed here. 
Just like in field battles, the outer circle of the timing guide will gradually shrink in for the moment it lines up perfectly with the inner circle. Sounds good. Boss characters will occasionally unleash special attacks to try and dodge these attacks. Or to try and dodge these attacks, hit as many targets with dark auras as you can. Okay. I'm going to forget this entire thing, but let's go for it. Hmm, <laughs> I almost kind of want to baby the fuck out of this, just to, uh, not- You know, no, we're, we're going proud mode. Screw it, man. We'll figure it out. This will probably be the first song that I fail, because of a whole new gimmick, though. But let's bring it on, Ansem. I'm not scared of you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh my god, this is crazy. Ah, oh, shit, I, I let go. It's bad. Oh my god, this is kind of crazy, actually. What? No. Concept of holding item or holding a thing down is too hard. Um, I'm probably gonna lose this, but at least I made it some way without screwing up, so that's okay. <laughs> oh man, and some and some two DM. This is a bad fight. I did so I did pretty well actually for a first attempt, but dude, that that confused me so much. Well, I suck. Oh my god, this is insane. Hello, what the fu- ah? <laughs> I was pressing the sticks, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my god, that part's nutty. Ah, I, I think I feel like the exact same spot. Ooh. Boss stages are clearly going to be the harder things with this, because it's like completely different. Well, it's not completely different, but it's uh, reasonably different from how everything else goes. So, come on. We got to do this, man. Just don't crack under pressure. I think I understand whole notes a little bit better now. I was a little bit shaky, but I think uh, I think it's starting to click. So I, hopefully we'll be able to do it this time. Is there like a way you can stop your party from like getting hit, or is this like forced damage here? Because that's kind of bullshit. Farthest I've made it so far. Hopefully we can win this time. Oh, you guard during that. Oh, you dodge during that. Okay, that makes more sense. 
I thought that was just like random stuff happening. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay, that makes a lot more sense now. I was I was really getting confused. That's not so bad. I'm, I'm a little bit slow when it comes to these things, but hey, uh, third try. I'm going to assume we'll get a cutscene here now. So show me this, man. But uh, not so bad. Like, not gonna lie, boss fights actually seem uh, pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Cleared my first boss music stage. Hey, let's go. And let's see, cutscene. Yep. The light emanating from Kingdom Hearts destroyed them. <laughs> Which one? The strongest darkness Sora faced. But the darkness behind the door still threatened to burst out at any moment. With Riku and Nikki on the inside and Sora on the outside, they sealed Kingdom Hearts from both sides. <laughs> and so, Sora and his two friends continued on their journey. Yay, and then Chain of Memories happened and my green screen is freaking out. You can see like my, my neck like blending in with the background. <laughs> okay, well, that was cool.